if two genes are not linked, independent assortment between two individuals who are homozygous uh, for two separate genes follows the following pattern. In this example, where a fly which is wild type is mated to a fly which is homozygous for the mutations sepia and ebony, the wild type fly will produce gametes which have wild type alleles for both of these genes, sepia and ebony. In contrast, the mutant fly will produce gametes which have mutant alleles for each of these two genes. All of the offspring of this set of parental flies will therefore be dihybrids or double heterozygotes. They will be heterozygous for each of the two genes having received a dominant allele from the wild type flies and a recessive allele from the mutant flies. Since these two genes in question are recessive, or at least in the case of ebony, the condition of ebony is recessive, the gene is really incompletely dominant. But since these mutant conditions are recessive, therefore all of the F1 flies have at least one dominant allele of each of these two genes and therefore will have the wild type conditions. When wild type flies are crossed with flies which are sepia ebony, the F1 flies are wild type for each of these two traits. And then because these genes independently assort, the F2 flies have this 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio, where 9 sixteenths are wild type for both conditions. They have a tan body color and brick red eyes. 3 sixteenths have sepia eyes and the wild type body color. 3 sixteenths have red eyes, but an ebony body color. And then 1 16th would have both the sepia eyes and the ebony body color. So a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio would be observed in the F2 generation for these traits.